Hi guys, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I'm going to prepare a video on bulk import of lookup types and the lookup codes in Oracle Fusion Cloud. Okay, so basically why we are creating this video or why we need this thing. So because if any of your customer is going to migrate from the lower version to higher version, means R12 to the Fusion, that time he may have lot of the custom lookups which are created in his system that we have to also migrate from the lower version to the higher version that is R12 to Fusion or 11i to the Fusion. So that time we require this functionality to migrate the lookup as well as the lookup code from the lower instance to the higher instance. So this video will going to help you in that scenario. Okay. So before starting, I just want to say that if you are new on my channel, please like, share, subscribe my channel. If you are having any difficulty, any doubts, any queries, you can write into the comment section or you can also mail me on my email ID, which is in the description of my channel. Okay, so we will see this concept, how to import the lookup types and lookup code. For that, I'm just going to my Fusion instance. So this is the home page of my Oracle Fusion instance. So for importing the lookup, we need one CSV file where we are having all lookups and the second CSV file where we need the all the lookup codes. Okay, so what I will do, I will just go on one notepad and I will just create that sample file in front of you and then we will try to import it. So I am on the notepad screen. So I am just pasting one header. Okay, so this is my header. So what we will do for this respective header, we can import multiple lookups. Okay, so I am just writing the data for this header. So my first column is nothing but the lookup type. So which type of a lookup we want to import. So suppose I want to just create the country as the lookup and I have to give the different countries as the lookup code. So here I am just specifying the lookup type as country. Okay, then after I am just adding the pipe symbol then after I have to give the meaning. So suppose I am just giving the meaning as country. Then after description. For the description we will give the country lookup. Country underscore lookup. Okay then again one pipeline. Then we have to give the module type. So what is this module type and what is this module key? So basically for which application we are building this respective lookups that we have to give. So here we are using the AOL application object library in the Oracle R12. So here we are having it as a just an application and this application is having the module key as an FND. So I'm just specifying FND and then again there will be one pipe symbol. Then after the reference group name. So from which reference group it is belonging that we can give here. So for reference group name I don't want to pass any value. So I will just keep it as in a blank. I am not going to pass anything over here. So this is my lookup type file. Okay. So what I have to do? I have to save it as in a CSV. Okay. Before saving this to the CSV, what I will do, I will just create the lookup codes also. So I'm just going on the one another notepad. And here I also I am just pasting the header. Okay, so here I had pasted just the header. Then after we have to give some specific information. So like as in lookup type. So what lookup type we are having. So we had created the country lookup type. So I'm just copying from my previous screen and pasting it here. So first one is a country, then pipe symbol, then lookup codes. So I have to specify any type of a lookup code. Suppose I want to insert the India as the country. So I will just give as an IN. Then after the display sequence. So what will be the sequence? Suppose I have to give it as an one. Then after next one is an enable flag. So I have to put it as an enable or disable. So I will keep it as an enable. So I'm just passing the value as an Y. Then we have to give the start date active and the end date active. So at which date it is started. So I am just giving it as an 01 slash 01 slash 2022. And then again pipe symbol and then the end active date is 31st 12 2023. So this would be my end date active. Then after meaning. So what meaning we have to give here. So meaning I am just passing it as an India the complete word then after description so 
so here also i'm just passing it as an india then after again one pipe symbol then after tag and the set name suppose i don't want to give the tag and the set name so, so i am just passing blank for the tag and then after again blank for the set name also okay so by this way i can just create multiple lookup codes so suppose i am just copying this line and pasting it over here and then i am just changing the few values that is instead of in i am just passing it as an us so it would be an a sequence would be 10 then it is also enabled then same date i am keeping here and just i am here again giving us and here i am giving the description as an united states united states then again i am copying the same line i am giving it a next line and uh, and i am just changing the lookup code i am just giving it as an uh, uk so this time i am making the sequence as an 3 and i will make it as an uh, disable so i am just passing it as an n then i am keeping both the the same and here i will just change it in uk and it is the united kingdom okay and one more value last value we will just insert so i'm just copying one more time and i'm just pasting it here and i'm just making it as an a four and this time i'm making this as an enabled i'm just keeping the date as in same i'm passing the country as here uae so i'm just changing here also uae here also i am just making it as an uae and here united arab okay so these are my four lookup codes then what we have to do we have to save this as a csv files okay so how we can save this you can just file do save as or the second thing you can open one csv file and just you have to insert this respective values so i had already prepared this csv so just have a look so what is this in a single block i am having all the respective values here also same and for the lookup codes also i am having the same so this is file is for my lookup code so we are having this different four lookup codes over there so what i will do i will just save both the files okay then after what we have to do i am just closing this files and going on my oracle fusion home screen so this is the home screen of my oracle fusion instance then i have to import this respective file into my fusion instance so how i can import so i just have to click on this navigator then after i have to search here tools under the tools we are having that respective import export functionality so file import and export then if you want to import or export any type of a file just click on add symbol over here so it will open one prompt then browse that respective files so my first file is in a country lookup.csv so i'm just opening it and here in the account i have to select one value so which value i have to select here is in setup functional setup and import on this i'm just clicking on save okay so you can see my file is added over here then i have to add my second file so again click on the plus icon then it will again open one new prompt and just browse the second file so my second file name is in a country lookup codes so i'm just selecting and from the account i am just selecting the same whatever we had select last time setup functional setup manager import and i'm just clicking on save and close now you can see both the files are over here okay now it is done we don't have to click anywhere to save anything anything nothing we have to do now what i have to do i just have to click here and i have to go to the respective setup and maintenance so here i'm just clicking on setup and maintenance then after here is a task icon click on the task icon and here is in a search so click on the search so here you have to search one thing so that is nothing but the manage percent common percent lookup and click on the search icon so here we are having the manage common lookups so just click on this manage common lookups so on the screen you can also create the lookup manually okay so i already told you that how to create the lookup manually in my previous videos if you want to check that you can go through that video but here we are going to see how to import the respect to lookup 
so here is an one action tab so just click on that arrow and here is the option to import so click on the import so it will ask you first the account so from which account you have to import so select here the same account where we had uploaded our file so where we had uploaded setup functional setup and import then after here lookup type file and here the lookup code file so what is the name of my lookup type file so we are having this name so just copy this respective name so i'm just copying this and pasting it here so this is my lookup type file and this is my lookup code type file so one thing you have to remember over here here compulsorily you have to give the extension so my extension is in a dot csv so i'm just giving that extension also and just click on the upload button so as soon as you clicked on the upload button it will start progressing it will generate one progress bar also in front of your screen as you can see on my screen also so once it will be complete it will show you the log file so you can download that respect to log file and you can check that also if there is an any type of an error so this is my log file so for time being i'm just closing this one and i'm just clicking on ok now i'm closing this one also so i'm just querying my lookup that is in a country so i'm just writing country and clicking on the search button so now you can see that my country lookup is added over there okay but one thing what we had done we had done here one three four okay so it is showing me just one three and four it is not showing me the second one so which it is not showing me it is not showing me the us one so why it is not showing me that we have to check so how we can check by using the log file we can check let me open the log file once again so this is my in in which is inserted then after there will be one error occurred this one is an error message that is an error message occurred jbo dot attribute set okay so what is the issue over here so here see it is giving us the message also lookup type country already has the lookup code meaning okay so what is the issue we are having the same lookup code meaning in the system after in entering the im it is already exist okay so that's why it had not inserted okay so if you are having such type of an issues also so it will give you that also so by this way you can identify that respective error also so the next thing here the you Okay, this checkbox is not checked see so why it is not checked because we had not given it as a enable as an why we had given it as an n okay so by this way we can import n numbers of an lookup type as well as the n number of an lookup codes also so you can try with the multiple if you are having any doubts you can write into the comment section thank you for watching my video thank you